coming. Kerala Chief Minister has reacted to this. Kerala Chief Minister reacts to this controversy. Minister Pinarayi Vijayan, the Chief Minister has spoken exclusively to India Today on the Kerala story. Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan was speaking at the India Today South Conclave. He's called the film an orchestrated effort to tarnish our image and bring Kerala to disrepute. Let's listen in to what the Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan has to say about the Kerala story. Kerala shines as a beacon of a progressive ideals <clears throat> where every voice matters and the spirit of unity paves the way for a brighter future. Despite the orchestrated efforts to tarnish our image and bring Kerala to disrepute, the people of Kerala stand united in its defense. Time and again that defense has ensured that such nefarious designs got exposed and defeated. No force, no matter how strong they may seem to be, will be able to stand up to our united defense. Follow me now joins us from the newsroom. Follow me, you saw, you know, that there are different opinions coming in as far as the Kerala story is concerned. And those who like, those who dislike, both have a place of their own. But each time there's a controversy like this, we see a growing uh, chorus of left versus right uh, and everything being politicized in this country. Well, absolutely. But this is a matter which is about uh, freedom of expression. And this was something that was challenged. The film in itself was challenged in court, as I was telling you earlier, uh, Chetty. In fact, West Bengal had banned the screening of the film, which was again challenged in court. And the court, the apex court, in fact, decided that West Bengal cannot ban the screening of the film if they cannot prove that there indeed will be any sort of law and order uh, situation in the state as a result of the screening of the film. By then, the uh, film was already in the theatres across the rest of the country. There was no incident that was reported from any part of the country. So West Bengal alone couldn't be, uh, in fact, uh, you know, relying on uh, this defence uh, that there could be a law and order situation. It's much more sensitive on the ground in West Bengal and they couldn't allow for the screening of the film. The film was allowed to be screened in West Bengal and we've, we've not heard of any such reports. That is what the filmmakers have been saying as well, that this is about freedom of expression. Yes, as Mr. Rahul Ishwar was pointing out to you earlier, Jethi, there was, of course, the debate which was was around facts in itself, where earlier the trailer of the film had claimed that 32,000 women, there were instances of 32,000 women who had in fact uh, been brainwashed, converted to Islam, and then of course been recruited by the ISIS uh, uh, who right. were from Kerala. 